Oh my God, are you literally kidding me right now? Not five minutes into getting here and getting back with my RV, she gets stuck in the fucking mud. So now I get to go through the drooling task of digging her out. So, uh, let's do it. Good evening, travelers. Welcome back to the Four Earth Show. My name is Philip Murillo, and it is so good to see your smiling, beautiful faces once again. Before we start this video, I want to explain that this is not a video for those that already own an RV or a van, but a video for those that are just starting the process of being interested in this sort of lifestyle. Maybe you've seen some videos, maybe you thought it'd be a lot of fun, and now you are wondering what are the first steps in order to make it a reality. Between your job, family, loved ones, and possibly even going to school, it seems like an impossible dream to live that RV or van life lifestyle. Well, in today's video, we will go over some simple plans and steps that will get you moving in the direction of life on the road. A little sidebar, and um, actually we're gonna, I'm gonna go sidebar it up here. Okay, a little sidebar is I did live full time in my RV Brahma. So a lot of the tips and a lot of the videos that are coming forward here are gonna be aimed at that extreme full time living. A lot of the plans and the steps and the you know ideas that I had and the research that I went through was aimed towards full time living. So just so you know, this isn't like a weekend or like, you know, how to go camping. This is for full time living. Just, just so you know. All right, back to the other part over here. However, from a lot of those videos, we really haven't gotten to the root of how to get into this lifestyle from that very first thought that seems like it would be a lot of fun. So let's head inside and dive right into the steps and plans that you need to think about before you even consider buying or living in an RV or van. All right, guys, welcome into my RV. This is where I lived for a little over a year, traveling all over America, having a blast living full time in it. Right now, I want to share a few steps with you that you should consider before you buy an RV because it is a very daunting process. It's something that a lot of people just dream about doing but never get around to doing, and it's actually a lot easier than you think. It just takes a little planning and a few steps, and you are on your way to living the RV van life lifestyle. So let's get right into it. Step number one is starting from the very beginning, right after you have that thought, that looks like a lot of fun. Step number one is have a plan and ask yourself a few of these main questions. Why do you wanna live in an RV? What do you wanna live in? Where and when do you wanna live in it? And how long do you wanna live in it for? Asking yourself these main questions allows you to understand a little bit more about the journey that you're about to take. Maybe it's just for a weekend, maybe it's full time and this helps you understand, okay, is this something that I'm gonna really seriously consider and drop everything else out of my life and go pursue this? Or is it something that I just wanna add to my life? You know, take a few weekend trips, go camping with friends. Asking yourself these questions really helps and we're gonna get into some of these questions right now that you should be asking yourself before you even consider buying an RV or van. So the first question is why do you wanna live in an RV or van? Is it because you just wanna move out of your parents' house? Do you wanna travel more and see the world? Do you wanna pay less rent or less on bills? Because yes, living in an RV or van is much, much cheaper than living in a house or paying rent, paying electricity, all that kind of stuff. Or do you wanna just be outdoors and see beautiful things? You know, a lot of people that I do meet are rock climbers, mountain bikers, hikers, backpackers, and they just want a place to be able to come back to after they're done doing their passionate things. Um, you know, a lot of other people I've met, they just wanna have an office so that they can come back to edit photos and then go back out in the world, go wherever they need to go and have that office basically wherever they wanna be. So first off, understanding why you wanna live in an RV drastically helps you in the long run because then you can start taking roads and paths directed towards your passions and your goals for living in something like this. All right, the next question is what do you wanna live in? Do you wanna live in an RV, a bus, a van, just your vehicle, or do you wanna just live out of your backpack hiking across the world? This question goes very much with the one above because if you do need an office or you have, say, a family with you, then you kinda need more space. You need that space to be able to put solar on the roof, to have a bigger bed, to have a table so that you can work on 
you know, but if you're really just like backpacking, mountain biking, spending a lot of times outdoors, then a van or just a vehicle will work perfectly fine for you to just get from point A to point B and then you're outside most of the days you just kind of need a place to come back to and crash each night. So understanding you know why you want to live in something and then taking it to what do you want to live in. The third question I would ask is where and when do you want to go? Do you want to just go all the way across America? Do you want to just go live down by the river? Do you want to go through different countries? Do you want to go off grid and just camp most of the time? Do you want to be in cities or you know, suburban areas. Thinking through these types of areas decides the build that you need to accomplish when you actually do find the right RV or van for you. It also helps you realize what amenities you need. If you are up in the Arctic, you know, you're all around Alaska or Greenland or Iceland, then you're gonna probably need a heater or better insulated that allows you to actually live in these type elements. But if you're going South America, Central America, or through the desert, then you're probably gonna want some kind of fan or ventilation. So figuring out where and when and what time of the season you wanna go drastically helps you plan ahead and put those amenities on board so that when you actually get in these elements, sometimes it's pouring snow outside, sometimes it's just 130 degrees, you are ready to conquer anything that you need to conquer. And the last thing I would suggest thinking very hard about is how long do you want to do this for? Do you want it to be just a weekend warrior? Do you want to go for weeks and months at a time and then come back to a, you know, a house or a place to stay? Or do you want this to be a full time gig? Because this drastically helps you save money or put the amenities on board that you truly need. Now, if you are just a weekend warrior, just you just want a place, say to go to Burning Man each year, go to festivals, go down by the river, just kind of get away every few months just for a weekend or a week, then you probably don't need a really nice fridge or a ton of cooking things. You basically just need the bare minimum of what you're gonna need for that weekend. And think of that closely too, if you're just gonna go camping for the weekend. However, if you are trying to live in it full time and you want to make this a full time gig, then you will need the amenities that come with that. Think in your house right now, things you probably don't even think are there, you know, AC, heat, your refrigerator, your stove or your oven, your bathroom, your shower, or even your bed. These kind of things that you don't even think twice about you got to think about all that type of stuff when you move into an RV or van. Some of the things that I am so grateful for because I chose an RV over a van is my shower, my toilet, my full size bed that is just always set up. You know, I have a table in here. I have a big fridge and a stove top. I have these kind of things that allow me to live full time off grid, not talking to anyone for months, allows me to live like that and be able to succeed while doing it because I have the amenities on board. I got solar, I got a fantastic fan so I can ventilate the whole thing. I got new lights and you know, things like this you have to think about if you're going in it for the long run. So when you start to ask these questions, you understand a little bit more about how much this truly means to you. Is it something that you're willing to leave your family and friends behind for? Or leave your career or current job? Is it something that you're willing to stop school for or wait till you finish school? When you go through these questions and you start to realize what this actually means to you, how important this is to you, then you can move on to the next steps of actually pursuing the lifestyle that is right for you. Well guys, that is all I got for you today. Every Friday, we're gonna be coming out with videos related to RV, van life, traveling, how to save money for it. I think next week's video is gonna be how to save money and how much this life actually costs because I did live in my RV for over a year and I've understood and I got down my monthly expenses to a pretty insane number and I think a lot of people would be very benefited to hear how to get their expenses down while living in an RV. So stick around, make sure you like and subscribe because it shows me that I'm again doing the right thing here and that you enjoy these videos. Again, thank you so much. Safe travels out there at all times and I'll see you next time for another video. Something inside of me that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you